<laughs> it's happening again. <laughs> every game. Every game. Oh, man. Uh, all right. We're starting. We just took the lead back. Amazing. Uh, touchdown pass. Kirk to Jefferson. Beating the blitz. Cookie got the two. We're up seven. Uh, two... 20 something left, I think. And we got to punt it back, or we got to give it back to Aaron Rodgers, who has not been stopped in this entire second half. He's, he's just made us look like fools. And here we go. Um, this is rather important. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ, I can't. Another drive, another Kirk drive, another Kirk drive late in the game. Biggest game of the year, and he did it again. So here we go. 217. Thank God we got that two, man. I don't, I don't think Green Bay would go for two if they score a touchdown here, but you never know. I mean, if they do, then they, be, then they beat us. But man. This is so huge. This is huge for the division. Huge for the wild card because, man, this NFC this NFC playoff thing is looking a little a lot more uh, challenging than it, than it was uh, just a week or two ago. So we're going to probably get one or two plays here before the two. Okay. All right. We got we got two minutes left and two timeouts, and all we need is a field goal. We talked whether Mike Zimmer was going to bring pressure, Kev, and they did, and it was blocked up. They brought both Kendricks and Barr up the middle. You know what? Twist, I'm looking. I'm fuck it. I'm looking at this from from an optimistic point of view. This game is no longer in the hands of the defense. It is in the hands of Kirk Cousins in this offense. And honestly, the, there's more proof that I'm glad that this game is in the hands of the offense and not the defense. I mean, I don't know who blew that. Probably Xavier Woods. Of course, it was Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods has had the worst game. That's one of the worst. He has, he's had one of the worst. I mean, granted, that's like... Yeah, the back end, the whole back end of our defense has been absolutely torched. But you know what? Okay, it's 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 a tie game. The Vikings offense, Kubiak, Kirk, everybody, they have it in their in their in their in their power to never let Green Bay touch the ball on offense again in this game, and to go win the game. So let's see what happens. Let's, see, let's watch them go do it. Hopefully they can. Hopefully this is a happy recap. <laughs> sad one. We've had so many sad ones. I certainly thought that would go a little differently. I thought there would be at least some drama. I thought they would at least make them put together some sort of a drive. Now I say that I say that hey, it's good that we're that the offense has this thing in their hands. Now watch us go three and out and punt it back, and then they kick a field goal and beat us, and we're four and six. So we got two timeouts. We got the two, the two minute warning coming up. They can even run if they want. They run it pretty well in the second half. So we're on the defense, that's nice. That's helpful. I'll take it. It's, it's become with the Vikings almost like like an NBA game, most NBA games where it's like you don't even need to watch the first three quarters. Too many times for Jefferson 
this shit. I mean, that's what's just... People who want every every pass to be a deep ball, they, you run the risk. They, you know, Kirk didn't get away with that one. He almost he almost didn't get away with one earlier in the game. Well, fuck. Now you got to play some defense. What if smartphones were more than just smart? The all new Google Pixel Six. I thought for sure they were going to run it there because they had the two minute warning to spare. Like, run it. Get to the two. I mean, I like. You throw it. You're throwing a deep ball to Jefferson, who's got like a hundred and whatever yards today. Like he's been he's been a superstar in this game. I, I can understand going for it, going for it there and making that make, taking that shot. But that those are the risks <coughs> for these Vikings fans who want every <coughs> who want every pass or, you know, or every offensive play to be a you know a twenty or thirty yard pass downfield. That's going to lead to more interceptions. That's going to lead to more. You know, tip balls and, and bad things happening, and we just had a bad thing happen. It's probably the worst possible time imaginable because there's no reason whatsoever to think that they're that they're not going to go down and, and score now. It's the most joyous time of the year, especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. So, Jesus, talk about a couple of fucking punches to the gut right back to back. Give up, give up the fucking, I don't even know how long that touchdown was they got, and then, you know, fucking pick immediately. We're better off if we just let him get another, you know, bomb touchdown on us. Then we'd have a chance to respond. God damn. Oh, uh, but it is. It's become like it's become very uh, NBA like with these with these Vikings games because there's no point even watching the first three quarters. Hell, there's no point watching the first three and a half quarters. Because every game is decided in the last we five or six minutes. Later today on CBS and Fox, then tonight on NBC. Tune in tomorrow for Monday Night Football on well, ESPN. On if we go down, I hope we go down swinging. I hope we go. I hope we go after Rodgers. I hope we blitz him. He beats the blitz. Whatever. So this is an automatic review because they ruled interception on the field, but we're looking at it in the break, and it's certainly. It certainly looks like he did not finish this catch, which would mean it's an incomplete and not an interception. Oh. But why ask me? Let's hear the call first, and then we'll go to Dean Blandino. The pass was incomplete. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. No idea they were even reviewing that. You know what? It's, it's to complete the process. Jesus, man, we fucking looked out there. But you know what? Keep going to Jefferson. There's no, there's no reason not to keep going to Jefferson. Oh my goodness! Wow. So the Vikings fans take a breath, say, "Woo!" Yeah, I just did that. <laughs> this is true. But I hope that doesn't scare him off. Like, keep going, for, keep going for it. And now, and now we get the two-minute warning. Boy, that talk about a fucking swing of emotion there. I had no idea that was even. I'm talking for five minutes about. Well, maybe we we can let him score fast again and get the ball back, and we're getting the ball back. So that, but that's gonna be two. That's gonna be two. That's gonna be the story of the game if we win. Kirk threw a pick in the red zone in the uh, second quarter, I think, and. Uh, um, and it was taken off because of roughing the passer because they went helmet to helmet on Kirk. And now this one, like, if we win, those are the those are the two. Yeah. It still stands though. If you, this is what happens if you throw, if you if you're constantly throwing passes, you know, 20, 30 yards down the field, which a lot of Vikings fans want. Bad things can happen. But I mean, seven for 67 or seven for 163 and two touchdowns for for JJ. Of course you're gonna throw for him. Like, why not? Keep going for him. Keep, like. Gotta put that. They've got to get that monkey off their back. They've got to find a way to win one of these close games. Kirk well, this was guaranteed sadness here for a couple minutes, but now there's at least some hope that that something good could uh, come of this. I'm not usually optimistic in these. Make the move, Cook. Cookie. Cookie. 
45 yard line. Packer 45, let's go. They don't need to be in that big of a hurry though, because because they got they still got well over a minute and a half. They got two timeouts. Nice move by Cookie. That, ooh, boy, Cookie got like 15 extra yards on that move. One Kirk. Oh. Oh. Oh, what a play. That looked like the play. Uh, that was like the play uh, to Kyle Rudolph in the Seattle playoff game where, where Teddy hit him on the sideline and he, he wasn't tackled for whatever reason and he just rumbled for an extra bunch of yards. God damn it, please don't let this come down to Gray Joseph. Look, I know I know it's 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 setting up where we would probably be in chip shot range, but come on. No no one in that stadium right now thinks that this is this is like a chip shot field goal is a guarantee by any means. Hopefully Zimmer understands this too. Cookie, 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 inside the 10, down to the 6. All right, well, they're, they're going to call timeouts now, so we got to punch this in. I don't care. Don't let – it's not going to come down to field goal now anyway because Green Bay has – I think Green Bay might have taken a timeout now, and they still got one, so they're not – we're not going to – we wouldn't be able to run out the clock and then kick a chip shot anyway, so – so they got one timeout left. Let's just go, let's just punch this shit in, get the fucking touchdown, take our chances against stopping maybe the greatest fucking quarterback <laughs> ever. Um, this is what we need. We need the touchdown. I don't care about anything else. Just get the fucking touchdown, Clint. If you fucking call a sweet pitch to C.J. Ham, I'm gonna drive down to the fucking stadium and I'm gonna beat you with a, an aluminum bat. So here we go. Seven yard line, first and goal. Oh God. Oh God. They're gonna run out the clock and kick a field goal. Don't even run a play, they're just gonna take a knee and force Green Bay to use the timeout. Green Bay's not even gonna take a timeout. Oh god. Well, I mean like okay, I'll say this. We can't lose the game right here unless they block it and return it for a touchdown. So I'll say that. I'll say that. Like if if it was if we were down one right now and we were doing this, I'd be irate. I'm not happy. Oh God. God. No. Please, Greg. Please, Greg Joseph. Oh my God, Greg Joseph. I mean, they're not they're not going to call a timeout, so they're going to they're going to let this go. They might try to ice him, but he's a Vikings kicker in a clutch situation. What do you need an ice? What do you need to ice the guy for? Oh God! Oh. Look, he missed a PAT earlier. Now they might have probably gone for two after the last touchdown anyway, so it might be tied anyway. But um. Just make this one. I know Greg Joseph has made a couple. He's he missed the one. He's missed some, but he's made some too. This has to be. This has to be a made field goal. And if it's not a made field goal, I don't know what I'm going to do. But it might not be good. It's probably going to be R-rated, and this video will not be suitable for children. It probably isn't already because I usually swear a lot. We, we, like, Please, Greg. Please, 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 please. I'm not even religious when I'm doing this whole. And they're and they're icing them with the timeout. So. We get a little more time to to be nervous. We're not on the correct hash, by the way. Just pointing that out there. We're on the right hash. He's every time he's missed one this year, it's, I think it's been to the right. If Joseph misses this, I'm sorry. He, that has to be it for him. Greg, Joseph, come on. Make this fucking kick. Beat the Packers. Greg 
Joseph to win it. Got it! Yeah! Packers have been defeated. And they're carrying Greg Joseph off the field. This isn't quite like the, the last one when you hit it from 50 plus. But it's awesome. We won. We win. We beat the Packers. We're back to five. We're back to 500. We're back in the division race. We're reasserting ourselves in the playoff race. And he split it. He split it. There were no no, no uh, anxiety on this one. He did it. He got the job done. Kirk got the job done again. Zimmer. Oh, he's happy. Zimmer's so fired up, man. That's how you gotta. That's how you gotta do it. That's how you gotta beat the Packers when they're this good. You gotta. You gotta fucking take it to them. They didn't play. They didn't play. You know, and it almost burned them. Almost burned them on that. On that pick. If he controls it, then we might not be looking at something different, but man, you know, they, they played aggressively, they did what you gotta do, we beat the Packers, we win, five and five, back in it, back in the division, back in everything, oh, it's fucking, fucking wonderful, what a wonderful fucking, what a wonderful fucking day, oh my god, yeah, Frank Joseph, he missed the PAT, but he hit it when it really mattered, um, Timeout. They're down by six. Here's Kevin Kugler. What do we got? What we got? We got uh, some bonus coverage here. I think. I think this is. I, what, who, the Panthers are losing. Because the Panthers will lose. If the Panthers lose, we're officially in a playoff spot again at the end of the day. We might be anyway because the Saints are getting their their asses kicked. Fuck. What? And what did we do? We split the four games out of the bye, which is what we had to do to have to have a shot. And that. Uh, and look. We, we still got a lot of games that are, that are tough coming up, but man, that was, you know, that was so huge, man. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm not going to do live coverage of this because whatever, but Vikings, 5-5, five 34-31 five, over the Packers. We took it to them. We did what we had to do. Back in the race for the division. You never know. I mean, the Packers... The Packers are mortal. They're more mortal this year than they were last year, it looks like. So, you know, and we put we put up, thir even with Clint Kubiak maybe doing some stupid shit from time to time, we put up 34 points against a defense that looked like it was absolutely becoming unstoppable. Give Kirk some fucking credit. Greg Joseph, way to go. Fuck the pack, man. We got him.